Hi, automatic power factor correction using Arduino Uno. We know power factor is nothing but cos theta. So for that we have made arrangements with the Arduino Uno here and then we have connected a serial port monitor here to see the result. We are also on an oscilloscope here to see the voltage, zero voltage reference, zero current reference. This is zero voltage reference, this is zero current reference which is coming from this SVDT switch where in this setting it will be giving 3 millisecond lag and this side it will give you 1 millisecond lag. But if you want to see the exact circuit of this uh, voltage reference and zero current reference, the link is given below for the complete circuit. But this is how in the simulation circuit that we are trying to achieve it. And let us see its function. And then we have the uh, ULN2003 which is the relay driver. And we have about six relays. We have 10 microfarad each for uh, the to be connected. So that if all of them are on, then there will be 60 microfarad connecting across the supply to improve the power factor. We have a reset button here also for any time you can interrupt this. That's what the program is going on. The connections are given here. Like for example, the voltage, the, the, it is V written here. And then the uh, these are the connections which are going to the respective points as far as the this is this this this, this is the v i1 uh, i o2 and uh, current is uh, i o3 uh, or we can change it to this side where it will go to adc2 and adc3 as far as the voltage and current is concerned here and this will be changing the current a delay from 1 millisecond to 3 millisecond as we discussed before. And on the Proteus, you can also see the other way um, like this one where we have uh, the where we have the uh, actual library from the uh, Proteus but in any case both, both of them are same. While we operate this we will see how it works and then we will go to more details about its theory and uh, the functioning. When we operate this what we notice that the serial monitor reads 0.59 because that's the power factor delay of 3 milliseconds. If there is a delay of uh, current lags by 3 milliseconds and this is how it's 0.59 and then it goes on switching on all the capacitors and the power factor improves here to uh, uh, about 0.99. We will go into more details about this later. And there is a delay of this is uh, the voltage reference, this is the current reference and you can find there is a 3 millisecond delay here. Now let's understand its theory. Power factor calculation, we have assumed there in the circuit about 3 millisecond uh, delay and uh, the phase angle with this formula becomes 54 degrees and the power factor which is uh, cos theta is this much as per the formula. And what we uh, notice that our supply is uh, 50 hertz and uh, the delay time is this is the delay time or from here to here is the delay time the total time is 20 milliseconds as far as one cycle is concerned half cycle is 10 milliseconds and in 10 milliseconds what we find we have taken 3 milliseconds delay 3 milli i current lags about 3 milliseconds delay compared to the voltage uh, these are the standard uh, formula that we have taken 50 hertz and then the time period is 1 by f is equal to 1 by 50 is equal to 0 0.0 to 0 to 20 millisecond for the capacitor calculation, we have taken the same figure and the desired power factor is say 9.95 and initial power factor is 0.59 what we noticed here and uh, apparent power is equal to V into I which is equal to this and then the real power is this uh, where the power factor is also multiplied and in the RMS voltage we have taken 220 frequency 50 years and the current is about 5 amperes that is how we have uh, got this figure. And uh, the uh, the reactive power, which is the VAR, uh, is this much as per the formula is this. So capacitor, value of capacitor is by this formula is this 5.8 to the 10 to the power minus 5 or 58 10 to the power uh, minus 6 or 58 microfarad. So this is what is the basic uh, understanding of the uh, theory. Students who are uh, familiar with the power factor and voltage uh, and the current lagging behind be able to understand this much better. Let us watch its function again uh, while we try to simulate this. What we notice is uh, now let me bring it here so that we can understand it. And uh, you see there is a time difference between uh, this is the voltage pulse, this is the current pulse and we have a time difference of 3 milliseconds. We operate this switch to this side it goes to 1 millisecond time delay once it becomes 1 millisecond time delay you see the power factor is maintaining at around 9.95.99 and if it is again going to say maybe 3 millisecond delay then you find the power factor becomes 0.59 as we have seen in the 
calculations. But in actual circuit, what you have to do, and then uh, the basic uh, principle is it goes on scanning. What you can see is it goes on scanning um, from uh, once it becomes 0.59, it goes on switching one by one, one by one, and it switches on all the six to bring the power factor to 0.99. That's what we have noticed here. So this is uh, the uh, function, and then at any time we interrupt this, so the everything becomes off. Everything becomes off, and uh, in the process the power factor again goes back to 0.59 this is the ac supply and uh, the load of course has not been shown here and uh, the uh, based on this the load also has to be connected here in actual practice this has to be done circuit and the simulation everything is available on request it will be however the hex code will be given so that you can see its function yourself but for the source code as far as the program is concerned, uh, it is the Arduino program where the um, voltage reference and current reference pins are taken like this. Relay connections are at point four five six seven eight nine, and uh, we the desired power factor is point nine five, and uh, the initial power factor is point six. That's what we have taken, and uh, so point five nine or point six. That's what we have taken, and then the uh, other variables and all that is uh, uh, done as per the program. And once it is compiled, you get the circuit working. The source code will be available. The hex code for this program will be available free of cost. Once you send a request by subscribing and sharing and pressing the bell icon. Only after these three confirmation from your side, hex code will be given so that you can see it yourself uh, if you have the access to Proteus.